All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala Yahweh Bashim Yahusha Bashim Rakwakwadash. The launch to the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yakim out there in the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. So I want to get into this real quick, you know, because there was a statement that um, Kobe Bryant's wife made saying that I have not forgiven the most high for for taking Kobe for you know for Kobe's death but you know that's the only thing you know especially with women you know they want to praise God they want to give the glory you know not just women but people in general they want to just praise God or give the most high the glory or praise and you know give the most high praise when things are going good but the moment things go bad, things go south, you know, you know, somebody loses a loved one or, you know, or, you know, situations in your life are just going south, you know, where, you know, you end up losing things like your house, you know, certain possessions like your house or your, or your car or, you know, whatever it may be, you know. When things start going bad for you or your job, you know, when things start going bad for you, then that's when you don't want to give the most high praise. You know, you don't want to still believe or have faith in the most high anymore. But it's easy when you have faith in the most high. It's easy to have faith in the most high to give the most high praise when, you know, things are going good in your life. But the moment things go south, you know, things go bad, you don't want to give the most high any any praise no more you know you you want to curse out the most high you know and this is exactly what what took place with um job's wife you know um let me get into this real quick i'm gonna just read the scripture so this is the the book of job chapter 2 verse um verse 9 and then said his wife unto him does thou still retain of thine integrity Curse God and die, you know. So this is the t p typical wicked woman here, you know. Here it is, you know, things are going bad, things are going south. Rather than, you know, having the integrity, well, the most high despised her of wisdom, rather than still giving the most high praise and understanding, you know, this is all a test, you know, of faith. You know, she she breaks, you know, and that and that's typical because the woman is the weaker vessel. But Job, you know, here he had a checker, you know, he had a checker. And this is what Job said unto her. Um, verse um, 10. But but he said unto her, thou speak of as one of the foolish women speak of. You know, so pretty much he, he cursed her out for saying that shit you know for saying that dumb shit that she said you know what shall we receive good at the hand of the most high of god and shall not receive evil so you know job he understood balance and in all this did not job sin with his lips you know because he understood balance job understood you know the bound the dynamics of balance because the scripture says in um Proverbs 11 and 1, that a false balance is an abomination unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know? <laughs> so he understood the balance, the dynamic of the balance, you know? Yes, he had, he was on top of the world at once, you know? He had received everything, he was living good, but when he was tested and everything was taken away from him, that didn't that didn't change or that didn't phase him, his faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, his faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai didn't change when he lost those things. You know, it stayed the same. You know, he stayed, he states, um, he, st he still stayed fast in, in, in Yahweh, in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and still gave him the praises and glory and honor when he was doing bad, when everything was taken away from him and when he was going through his sorrow. You know, he still gave Yahweh Bashim Yahshai praise, you know, that, you know, just because he lost his riches and all of his goods, that didn't change it. That didn't change his faith. That didn't faith. Um, his faith, he didn't worry in his faith. You know, it stayed the same. 
You know, just as he was given the most high praises and glories in his good times, he still gave the praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in his bad times. You know, so who the hell is Kobe Bryant's wife to say, oh, I have not forgiven God the most high for taking Kobe, you know? You see? But that's the tip typical woman. That's the typical, you know, people of this um people. You know, they want to give all praises and glories to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai when everything is doing, when everything is all good. You know, when everything, you know, when they got lots of money in the bank, you know, their bills are paid on time, you know, <laughs> you know, everything is all good. You know, that's when, you know, they would, they want to acknowledge the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But the moment things are bad, you know, the moment when money is low, when, you know, you're on the verge of losing everything, you know, then that's when, that's when, you know, they want to curse out the Most High, you know. But the Most High, he doesn't care of your praises when you, when everything is doing all good, because he knows that it's easy for you to praise him when, you know, you're doing good. It's only when you're doing bad that's the that's that's when the most high that's really where the most high really cares about about your praises. You know, are you gonna give Yahweh Bashim Yahshai praise in your bad times, in your rough times, you know? When things are not going too good for you, are you gonna still give Yahweh Bashim Yahshai the praise and the glory? You know? Are you still gonna hold fast in your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai when things are not looking good? You know, when things are going bad, are you still going to keep your integrity? Are you still going to hold fast your integrity in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai? You know, that's what, that's really where Yahweh Bashim what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai cares about. He doesn't care about when you're doing good because he knows that it's easy for you to praise him and give him glory when you're doing good. But it's only when you're doing bad that the most I cares about to see if you're still going to trust them. Are you going to hold fast? Are you going to keep hold your integrity? You know? Because it's all about keeping and holding your integrity in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai when things are going bad. That's when it, that's where it really counts. You know, it doesn't count where, you know, everything is going good for you and things like that. You know, it just doesn't count. You know? You know, likewise, you know, let's say you're in a relationship with a woman, you know. You know, let's say you're in a relationship, you know, she's there. She's there with you when things are going good, you know, when, you know, everything is going good. When you have money, you know, everything is going good. There's no worries. But, you know, what really counts is that. You know, let's say if you lose everything, you know, you lose everything you have, you know, you, you know, you lose the car, you lose the home, you lose, you know, money, you don't have money is low, money is tight. You know, you would really want her to be there with you in the struggle. You know, you really want her to be there with you in the struggle. You know, that's where, you know, her love for you is tested, you know. To see if she could weather the storm, if she could um, if she could hold hold you down, you know, and weather the storm, you know, that's where it really counts. Because if she's just there with you when everything is <laughs> when everything is all good, and the moment you know, and the moment things go south, you know, things go bad, you know, it, it, does she really love you? Does she really have that love for you? You know, does she real? Is she really there to support you? In the time where you really need it the most, you know, and nine times out of 10, you know, she's going to end up leaving, you know, she's going to end up dipping on you and end up cursing you out, you know, and that's just how it is, you know, because, you know, women, you know, they just don't have that faith. But that's when that's when really shit is really tested, though. That's when, you know, things are tested when things are going self. That's when your faith and your integrity is really tested, you know, 
when you're you're going through the bad, you know, when you're going through rough times, that's where your faith is really tested and your integrity is tested. You know. Because at the end of the day, how about Shem Shai? He's in control of all things. You know, life and death. Because it says this in the book of um, let me get that. Because it says this in the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse um, verse 29. And it says this, see now that I, even I am, he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord says he kills, he makes alive, you know, he wounds and he heals, you know, this is the Lord. He does all of this, you know, ultimately it's Yahweh Bashim Yashai that's behind everything that goes on in this earth, you know. So who, who the hell is Kobe Bryant's wife to say, oh, I'm not forgiven, you know. The most high, you know, for taking Kobe, you know, it's the most high that took him out ultimately. You know, because he's in control of everything. But, you know, that 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 just goes to show you how people are, you know. They want to, you know, when everything is going all good and <laughs> all gravy and dancy, you know, that's when they want to, you know, trust in Yahweh. That's when they, you know, give all praises, you know, and glories to Yahweh, Bashem Yah Shai, the Most High, you know. But when things go bad, you know, that's when they want to curse out the most high, you know. That's when they want to curse out the most high. And that's the sick stickative to these nations, too. Because right now you see Esau Edom, he's on top of the world, you know, he has everything hearts de heart desires, you know. But yet he's not given the glory or the praises unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Neither are these other nations are, you know. And they're not given the glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. This is why they're gonna receive a swift, heavy judgment that's coming upon them. You know? Because here it is, they're they're living their best lives, you know, and they're not giving the most high the glory for it. You know, they're not they're, they're not, you know. You know, they want to say they've done it out of their own power, you know. But not, nothing is done out of your own power. It's through the will and power of the Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. You know what I'm saying? This is why the scripture says that man's goings is of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way, you know? Because man's going is of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, he's, he's in control of everything. So there's no way a man can understand his own way, you know, because it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. It's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And this is what people don't understand. And this is why people, they get judged the way they get judged, you know. They receive judgment upon their heads, you know, because they don't understand that. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is in control of everything, you know. So this is why Job, he had to curse out his wife the way he cursed her out, because she, she's just going off, you know. Because he specifically told her, like, look, you know, you got to understand how this works, you know. We're not always, it, everything is not always going to be good and gravy, you know. Everything is not going to be good and gravy, you know, there's going to be times where, you know, you're going to have to go through those rough times and there's just no avoiding it. You know. You have the sweet and you have bitter, you know, you have hot and you have cold, you have up and down, you know, that's balance, you know, <laughs> that's just the balance of life. You know, that's just the balance. Because let me on um, my. Uh, let me just get the book of Proverbs real quick. Proverbs chapter 
Proverbs chapter 1, chapter 11, verse 1. A false balance is an abomination unto the Lord, but a just weight is his delight, you know? So the scripture says that a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord, but a just weight is his delight, you know, even. Like, here it is, you have hot and you have cold, you know? You have left and right, you know? You have up and down. You know, you have rich and poor. You know, so these are, you have good and evil, you know. So these are the things that you have in life, you know. Those are just, just balance, you know. It's, it's just, it's even, you know. That's what the Lord delights in, you know. So everything is not going to be all good, you know. You're not going to have everything all good. You know, everything is not going to always go good. You know, everything is not going to be peaches and cream all the time. You know, you're going to have to, you know, go. <laughs> you're going to have to taste of that bitter. You're going to have to eat that bitter. You know, I know everybody loves sweet. Everything. Everybody loves things that are sweet and good, you know, but there's going to come a point in time where you're going to have to taste the bitter things. You're going to have to get go through those bitter, bitter times. You know. You're going to have to go through those bitter experiences. And it's either two ways. It could either make you or it could break you, you know. It's out of the two. It's it's, it's out of the two because at the end of the day, you can't have one without the other. You're going to have to go through those things. And that's just the dynamic of being in, you know, of life. And this is what people don't understand. You know, this is why people, they receive that, the judgment that they receive, because they just don't understand the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know. They don't understand what, um, that he's in control and that he's the one that makes the decisions, you know. Whether it's good or bad, good or evil, you know, he's still, he's still, he's still in control of, um, of it. You know, he's still in, 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 in control of those things. So there's no, there's no, there's no getting around this whole thing. There's no getting around it, you know. You know, if she would have had some sense, you know, speaking about Kobe Bryant's wife, you know, she will understand this concept, you know. She will understand that this is all the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. And who, who am I to question Yahweh Bashem Yahshai? You know, but, you know, she's one of those foolish women, you know, that Joe was t telling his wife about, you know. So, you know, you know, shall we not receive good of the most high and not receive evil, you know. So you're going to receive evil, too, as well as good, you know. Just like being in this truth, you know, you're going to have more downs than you do ups in this truth, you know. And that's just the reality, you know, of brothers being in this truth, you know, and certain brothers, they can't handle that. You know, they can't take that and they end up falling out of the truth, you know, because their faith is not strong enough to deal with the things that, you know, with the things that come with this truth, you know, the downs that come with this truth, you know. Their faith is not strong enough, you know, to deal with those um, tribulations and those tests that, that the Most High puts on a brother when he's in this truth. So they end up falling out, you know. Just like that old saying goes, you know, no pain, no gain, you know. How do you expect to um, enter in the kingdom of heaven if you're not going through the pain, you know. If you're not, if, if there's no pain involved in it, you know. So it just doesn't work like it, like that. You know, you got to go through those bad times, too. You know, you got to endure those bad times, too. And that's just the way it is. And that's how that's how that's just the dynamic of life. You know, so with that, you know, I want to give all praises and glories to you. How about Shem Yahshai, Ba'ashem Rekwakwadash, the ones to the apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways.